everybody, it's Zimmer coming for Essence of Zen here today. I have a brand new uh, HP 25ES display. This is basically HP's 25 inch IPS LED display monitor that I'm going to be using as my main monitor from now on. I like this. This is one of those fully encased styrofoam setups where it's kind of like a important object to say the least. Get your power cable, the brick for set power cable, give you the HDMI cable. This is a little mounting bracket for the base metal. Yeah, it is metal. Um, I mean, oh no, I have no idea what material this is. It feels like uh, a type of alloy, but I don't know. It, it feels more solid than I expect. So this is this is the main thing right here. Okay, uh, no, not the quick setup guide but the monitor itself. That's IPS LED, it looks good. Now, one discrepancy that I have right off the bat is, if you look at the back here, uh, you'll see that's two HDMI ports and a VGA port. I would have much preferred some type of like DVI. I mean, even older, I'm not gonna complain. So, a quick kudos to HP. With their stand at the bottom there, they actually give you a little ring attachment if you don't want to use a flathead screwdriver to actually screw that in. Because I did not want to go looking for my flathead screwdriver. Now one thing you can probably already see about the display is the edge to edge near bezel-less, except for the chin, which is totally fine because it's a monitor. And even with most monitors, I don't mind a bit of bezel. It allows for easier handling without getting fingerprints on the actual screen. So, I mean, uh, wow, I'm not complaining that it's really, 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 really small bezels. Now, again, it's hard to hold in terms of not getting fingerprints on said screen. Another pro for the monitor itself is the thinness. Now, again, I'm not one to complain about thickness in terms of displays, monitors, etc., even cell phones for that matter. Um, but you, you do give credit where credit is due. You do have what I consider to be the rear end of a monitor, but again, that's totally fine because it's going to house your controls for input, you know, the buttons, the, the I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the main circuit board for controlling and driving the monitor within itself. The panel itself is just for the LEDs and the display. I mean, that's flat. The bottom half right here, the, the butt, is for the circuits. So yeah, I'm actually going to plug this baby in and set it up. In the meantime, feel free to support Essence of Zen by using our link to start a 30-day trial for Kindle Unlimited. That's free access to over 10,000 books and audiobooks for 30 days. Unlimited reading, unlimited listening, any device. When nearing the end of the trial, if you don't want to continue it, be sure to cancel the service renewal via Amazon.com slash MyCD. Thank you. New monitor is up. It's running nicely. It looks great. Like the color is rich. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell through the camera, but man, that's a good looking monitor. But that's pretty much it. Um, I got the monitor on sale. I have a link in the description below where you can buy this on Amazon using our affiliates code. That way you'll be helping us out. You'll also get a sweet monitor if this does appeal to you. That's a 25 inch 1080p IPS LED display by uh, Euler Packard. And if you're wondering about the Surface tablet right there in front, it's like, uh, consider it like an extra bit of display for me to read things when I'm doing various projects. I use a program called Synergy. Uh, you can buy it for like $10 or $5, one of those. Uh, link to that also in the description below, but I can use one mouse, one keyboard on my main computer and control multiple systems uh, that are connected to that program. So I can use this one mouse 
which is on the main screen, as you can see. And then I'll move it down. Then I'll be on this screen. If you can see. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you disliked it. If you disliked it, let us know why. If you have any questions about this particular product, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you want to see more. Share the video with your friends if they're looking at monitors to buy on the low end because everyone's going 2K and 4K nowadays. And personally, I'm totally fine still with uh, 1080p. Either way, guys, I will see you all in the next video which will be about this. Up, 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 up. Let it be a mystery.